This is a call out for help. I got a Porter Cable router here that I've had in a router table from Rockler for many years. Done some production stuff with it, but I'm not by any means an expert with routers. Um, the issue is I've never done any lubrication or anything on the inside where I might make a height adjustment. And as I'm trying to remove this router to put it in this base right here so I can have that smooth surface right there and float across. Yeah, okay, okay, I know, I could unscrew this and put it on there, but that doesn't uh, solve the problem. I can't even get a full range of adjustment here. So the router's side has a pin or two that fit in this groove and uh, is supposed to spin around until it finally gets free right here. I ought to be able to pop out the router from the base and put it into some other base, like a plunge base if I wanted one, I don't know. I don't have one, but I can't get it out. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm gonna take this guy and show you the range that I have. I can go to there, and it's grindy grindy, like aluminum on packed wood grindy. And I can get to right there. That's it. And I can't go out. And then I can get it, I don't know, maybe a turn back the other direction. I think I started pretty much right where I can start from. It's rough. It doesn't sound good. And as I'm peeking in here, peeking in right at that joint right there, I see some smashed wood. Even on this other one, the wood's kind of grimy gummy in here like somebody had put some oil in there. So I don't want to put anything in there yet because I just don't know what ought to be in there and uh, how I could free this stuck piece. So um, WD-40, three in one, liquid wrench. What would you do? Woo, I got it. Holy cow, that was a mess. Okay, so um, the first thing I did is I went to Lowe's and I got Blaster. It's this PB penetrating stuff that somebody recommended online. And uh, I just squirted the whole thing with it. Comes out kind of gooey. Um, yesterday, I tried this uh, 1830s liquid wrench. Look at that sucker. They did not have the internet back then. Anyway, I dumped that all over it, got it all gooey, but it was still locking, so I had to go get some of this blaster stuff. I don't think the blaster had much to do with it, but uh, I just wanted to tell you, look at this, this little bead. I'm pushing this line of sawdust that had probably glued itself into that groove there. Let's see if there are any on the other ones. So there's one pin, two pin, three pins, and four pins, and there are these two lines of gross gunk that had come out of there as I was threading it out. Um, it's a little disappointing because, I mean, it doesn't look that nasty. I don't know why it happened. Anyway, I'm going to clean this sucker down and lubricate the heck out of it, maybe with some wax before I go in there and put it back. Of course, I'm going to put it in the other base over there. But anyway, this guy, uh, let me show you what I did, how I ultimately got it open. I noticed that I could loosen it a little bit by prying in between there and there, and then I got the uh, porter cable wrench that actually came with my router and pried a little bit more and that still didn't work so finally i took a quarter inch router bit and shoved it in there while i was prying held it there and then got feet on here and here and twisted the dang thing just super stubbornly and it opened now i am going to make myself a note to clean the sucker out once a year so that i never get to this point again and it's on to some serious routing